Um, I want to talk about TAG, okay. uh, Trichome Assurance Grading. Uh, it's another way to assess marijuana quality. But tell me about how TAG or something like it might be something that, that'll be useful in the years to come, not only for, for consumers, but also businesses. And also, how do you ensure that TAG becomes that one, that one figure that people look for? Because inevitably, there will be 50 of these programs out there for people to try and get certified as a quality product. When you go to the grocery store and buy food, it's been quality checked. When you buy medicine, it's been quality checked. We are a multi-billion dollar industry that has no way to measure and quantify what our units should cost. Except for, of course, you know, the supply and demand, the market itself. But, dude, <laughs> so many times you'll see a pound that is super high quality being sold for the same price as something no one should smoke. Mm -hmm. And it's because there's no measure of, of like, why is this one okay and this one isn't? And then once you can quantify and measure how much this pound is worth, I mean, now we have a system that says these units of wholesale product should cost this across the board for everyone. There's a system there to measure it. Cannabis cups make or break multi-million dollar businesses. Sure. The people who are these cannabis cup judges, there's no qualification standards for judging. There's no method for how people judge. These judges judge things differently from each other. Sure. They're judging things that make them intoxicated and they're judging intoxicated. There's, uh, I could go on and on and on. Um, the Trichome Institute, because we are experts in the field of what cannabis is and how to dissect its quality, what we did is we built a calculator and we have an application that grades the quality of weed. Um, and what it's grading on is only things that are scientifically measurable. And those things are measured with mathematics. And so we actually build these in-depth report cards on each sample that we test with microscopic photography, pictures of the bud structure, and then we use um, a technical system called inter-rater reliability, which means my perspective of these things I'm observing and I'm trying to measure on a scientific plane is subjective until another double-blind person uses the same standard operating procedure and comes up with the same answer. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. We are grading cannabis with two double-blind people who are coming up with the same numeric value. And so check this out. Sophisticated wine shoppers don't go into a uh, liquor store and say, excuse me, sir, I'm looking for this species of grape at this percentage of alcohol. Could you please <laughs> help me with that? No, a sophisticated You've wine shopper. You've clearly never been wine shopping with producer Vince then, because, yeah, that's, that's Vince, how he Vince, we're going wine much. shopping, buddy. Yeah, Mad Dog 2020. I'll see you in interpreting a great, class. Grape structure. <laughs> no, a sophisticated wine shopper says, um, hey, could you point me out to the 82 section? Or, you know, I just had a great work week. I deserve a 95 today. Mm -hmm. Show me the 95s. Well, what is that? That is a level three sommelier who did a quality test on that uh, vintage and gave it a numeric value of what its quality is and it's respected. And, and the, it's the industry standard. It's the industry standard and there's a price point to it that matches. Mm -hmm. We just made that for cannabis. We have that numeric value. And the other thing is we're putting that into app technology. So you could have these apps that tell you where every single dispensary in the state exists. But if you want to know where the good ones are, which ones have a responsible vendor certification, cannabis product and sales training certification, have level one or level two interpreters working for their staff. Um, oh, how good is their weed mm -hmm. based on what? On a fundamental system that is proven to be true that works. Um, and so if you're a weed snob like me, only let me know when 92 or higher is in my area. You'll get a push <laughs> notification in your cell phone when pounds <laughs> at, that have been measured at that number are available there and then. 
Um, and you're doing this on a, har a harvest batch level. Yeah, and so we have um, a tag score. I, I think I have a tag shield somewhere over there, but um, a tag score is only good for 90 days. Oh, okay. And we have a lot of substantial research that shows, um, you know, terpene degradation really starts to uh, increase in matter at around day 90 mm -hmm. to a point where um, the cannabis isn't of quality anymore or the quality it used to be. Sure. Terpenes have a very short uh, life, life cycle, shelf life. Well, this is interesting. And the more and more you lay out a reason for these things existing, yeah. I get it. Cool. I mean, that, that makes absolute sense. And I think, you know, comparing intoxicant to intoxicant and the shopping experience uh, makes sense. In fact, less than a month ago, we had uh, some, some growers in here. And they had sent me a press release to try and get my attention, try and get me to write about them, saying they had like luxurious high-end cannabis. And I wanted to have them on the show, if only to ask them what the heck that means. Luxurious high-end cannabis, um, really entertaining, informing interview. Good guys. I believe they really care. You know, most growers really do care. Um, but then afterward, we were talking, and I, and I mentioned how much I know what the wholesale rates are right now per pound. And sure enough, they are bringing in a lot more per pound. And sure enough, some friends try uh, their stuff and their flower and really, really did enjoy it, um, more so than whatever else might be in the stash. So there is a quality difference here. There is no way of being able to say that there's a quality difference without you know, oh yeah, we have, we're a luxury high-end cannabis brand, or we scored a 95 through so, X. So what, so what TAG can do is TAG can help a, a grower like that prove it, mm -hmm. which is critical. The reason why it's critical is because in the cannabis industry, first of all, everyone's an expert, and second of all, <laughs> everyone grows the best weed. Um, I've and learned that in yeah, the last yeah, years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, And so, um, so when you have an entire system of experts who all grow the best weed ever, but only a few of them actually grow quality, we have a system to support those people, to prove sure. it.